Welcome to Connecting TM1 with Tableau. In this video, we are going to cover using TM1 Connect to integrate the multi-dimensional system of TM1 with the reporting and the visualization capabilities of Tableau. So what is TM1 Connect? Well, TM1 Connect is a system that dramatically simplifies the process of taking that multi-dimensional data and metadata defined in TM1 and converting that into a format and structure that Tableau understands. So TM1 Connect can deal with the data cubes as well as the system cubes that are defined in your TM1 models. It can also use the dimension member attributes to allow Tableau to do filtering, grouping, and sorting on those attributes. TM1 Connect contains the intelligence built in to deal with level-based as well as ragged hierarchies and expose those complex structures into separate columns for Tableau. And lastly, TM1 Connect can expose the users and security groups that are defined in TM1 so they can be used within your Tableau applications. So why TM1 Connect? Well, TM1 Connect enables direct connectivity to that TM1 data, and it does so using a drag and drop user interface. This means you no longer have to create and maintain complex TI scripts, especially ones that have to deal with hierarchical structures. Now, TM1 Connect uses ODBC to connect with the information in TM1, and it does so using a standard HTTPS protocol. This means that your users can interact with the data in TM1 even if they're remote or even over the internet. Now, because you can access the data and how you want it in TM1, you can now leverage the business logic that's been defined in TM1 so that you do not have to rebuild that and maintain that in your Tableau applications. So let's take a look at a couple of the modes of connectivity. The first mode we have is the batch mode, and the batch load is very akin to the typical TI process where you extract the data into a flat file. TM1 Connect supports uh, comma separated values as well as tab delimited values in that text file. And that data can then be imported into your Tableau server. The TM1 Connect provides scheduling capabilities, so this can now be set up to run automatically on a daily, weekly, or a monthly basis. In addition to batch mode, TM1 Connect uses an industry standard ODBC driver to connect with the data in TM1 and present that to your Tableau applications. It does so with a real-time live access to the information as it's changing in TM1. And we also have the ability to cache some of this information so as not to impact your users as they're working with TM1. Now, because we use an ODBC driver, this means you now get standard SQL language to a multi-dimensional structured system. So now you no longer have to write MDX queries. You can write standard SQL and still access the data in that multi-dimensional environment in your Tableau documents. We also can leverage the security models that are defined in TM1 so that the information being exposed to the users conforms with the security principles and practices set up in TM1, and you do not have to redo that within Tableau. So let's take a look now when we would use these two different modes. For match mode, it's typically used for a system-to-system -system integration, and typically that is done with a nightly or periodic update, nightly, weekly, monthly, perhaps. You would also use this for very large cube data volumes, or when you're exporting at a detail level all of the information within the cube that you're gonna then reprocess within Tableau. You may also choose to use the batch mode if your application needs to control security rather than using the TM1 mechanisms. So when would we use Direct Connect then? So Direct Connect would be used if you have a need to access the information in real time, for example, if you've got a planning system and you've got your forecasters, they're entering information and you want to present that information to the uh, executives through a dashboard or what have you, you can click a button within Tableau and it'll refresh that automatically. 
The other time that you may use Direct Connect is when your queries are targeted, interactive or aggregate type of queries. So if they select from a drop-down a particular scenario or department and it refreshes the dashboard for that particular department or, or uh, scenario, you may choose to use Direct Connect for that. Also, um, there are cases where some users need to have access to the data in TM1, but they, you allow the users to create their own Tableau documents instead of having a uh, department or an IT group to build them for them. Again, because you can pull that information out of TM1 directly, that means you can now leverage that complex business logic that's in TM1 and you do not have to require users to understand how to rebuild that within Tableau. This gives them a little bit more flexibility and be able to piece together the information they want and create the dashboards that they're after. And again, as we mentioned, because that security is now managed by TM1, the users do not have to program that into their Tableau applications as well. And so it only give back to them the information that they're authorized to see. As I alluded to earlier, TM1 Connect also has the ability to cache the data from TM1 for the queries that are coming in from Tableau. This alleviates the burden that it would have on the TM1 server as well as the impact on the TM1 users. Now, this technology we call TM1 Connect Smart Cache, and there are three different methodologies that Smart Cache entails. The first one is the user session caching. Now this is a short-lived cache that is there to take on the rapid fire explore and discovery type queries that occur for each data set from Tableau to understand some of the characteristics. For example, it might look at the number of rows in the data set. It might also look at a specific column like a department column and look at the unique list of departments within the data set. So these will be handled by the user session caching, and those uh, caches are unique to each user. We also have two global caches that are available for all users to leverage. We have global dimension caching, which will store the attributes and the hierarchy information uh, that the users are requesting. And if they're shared across to multiple queues or even the same view with different users, we can leverage some of that uh, caching capability and keep, again, the impact from hitting your TM1 users. With global view caching, we store the actual view data and then make that publicly available to all users. So uh, you use this typically when the security is not needed over that data, but that data needs to be presented out to multiple users. And one query to TM1 can literally supply the data to hundreds of Tableau requests. If you have any questions about TM1 Connect, you can visit our website at tm1connect.com. You can take a look at some of the videos and blogs to get more technical information. As well, you can also download a trial copy. Let's take a look now at TM1 Connect in action. First, what we'll do is we'll take a look at uh, Tableau, and I will bring uh, up a dashboard that was created using TM1 Connect. And this is pulling data live from TM1. And you'll see that it's executing a, a number of queries. Now, these queries that we're actually creating are um, five different queries. It's pulling um, employee information. It's pulling departmental information. Uh, and it's pulling some scenario information that we um, have set up in, in TM1 Connect. And so this is live and dynamic. So when I spoke about the targeted queries, that it's going to pull that information as it needs it. So that's what I've set up here. So I've got a number of queries bringing in this data, and they're tied to drop downs and radio buttons. So as I make changes to these radio buttons, it's going to reissue the query, pull that data live out of TM1, and bring that right here into the Tableau uh, document. So here I've got like a departmental overview, which average salaries by department, uh, and then a headcount breakdown by department. 
Uh, and, and I've created this dashboard. It's dynamically pulling as I page between pages. It's pulling only the data that is needed. That's one of the beauty, the beauties of, T, of Tableau is that it understands when and how to make those queries so to keep that performance high and you're not pulling all of that TM1 uh, data at the lowest level and then redoing all your calculations in Tableau. So this is fantastic for doing that. And again, all of these are tied into the dropdowns or into the radio buttons so the data gets updated automatically and you can see this is um, being pulled in. And again, this being live, if I were to make changes to this data in TM1, I could see that directly flow into Tableau. So now let's take a look at how we constructed this. Um, we have uh, TM1 Connect, which starts up as a web browser. And simply all you need to do is look at the cubes and the data that you want to have exposed from TM1 and create these as data sources. So actually, let's first look at uh, TM1. And we'll take a look at the system I have up and running. It's called Employee Planning. And what you'll notice is that I've got two cubes here, fairly simple in this case. We have one that's employee by period, and then we have employees. So employees is just a list of employees, and then employee period is really the reporting statistics on those employees by month, and by department, and by scenario, and so forth. So there's a number of views that are available here. If I look at uh, employee data, so this is essentially the data that I want to pull into Tableau. It's got the, um, the department here. So this is the list of departments. And what you'll notice is there is a structure to this department. So we have department marketing, accounting, finance, and so forth. Now what TM1 Connect does is it understands this hierarchy. Now, traditionally, TM1 would provide this back to Tableau in one column, and so that you would have all departments, marketing, market research, all kind of lumped into one row set. But Tableau does not want to work that way because it does not handle these aggregates in the same column. So what you effectively have to do is you have to split out these aggregates into separate columns. And doing that in TI is not trivial work. In fact, it's very difficult, especially as these um, dimensions become ragged. Okay, well, TM1 Connect handles all of that. So this is effectively the base data that we're going to be bringing into Tableau, into one of the, the tables. And so simply coming over here, I can log into TM1 Connect, click on the employees by peers. So you can see the same views that we had there. And I'm going to pick on this default view. So I'm not going to pick um, one of the ones that I've got here ready for Tableau, but I'm just going to pick on the default one. And what you'll see here when I preview this is I've got employees by month. Now, Tableau can deal with this, but it's very difficult to have the months along the columns because think about how it would get the quarters, you know, quarter one, quarter two, quarter three it'd be very difficult for Tableau to do that. So we can basically take the period and move that up here and let's bring in the measures. Now Tableau really likes to see the measures in the columns and any relational system likes to see that. So I'm gonna bring in uh, salary. Why don't we go ahead and just bring in um, you know, just the default here. So we're bringing in all the, the members. And so if I preview this now, what you'll see is I get the employee and then I get the period, and then I get the basics, uh, total compensation, benefits, bonus, insurance, and so forth. Now notice I've got all periods inside of this. So I, I want to remove those aggregates because again, Tableau cannot inter-row deal with the, um, the detailed data as well as the aggregates here. So let's go ahead and, and change this up a bit. And if I preview this, what you're gonna see is indeed we've got the months with all periods. So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna change this to instead of using all of the members in the dimension, I'm gonna use just months only. So when I preview this now, you'll see I've got one through 12. Okay, great. So we've got the months, but I really need those quarters in there. So what I can actually do is by going to the advanced tab, I can click on the include hierarchy, hit preview, 
And now what we've essentially done, what T1 Connect does is takes the hierarchy that's defined and then spreads that out into multiple columns to give you the um, ability for a relational system to understand uh, this hierarchy. So you can see that it's dealing with Q1, Q2, Q3, 4, um, and all periods. And so now when I choose OK here and I preview my, my view, you'll see that those columns have now been added. So that effectively is um, what TM1 Connect can do both with dimensional elements and with attributes. If you need attributes on some of these rows, if you notice that those are just the months numerically, we can come over here and we can add in attributes. So we can add in the full name. And so when I preview this now, I get January, February, March, April. So this now is part of our columns and can be included in our um, Tableau um, presentation. So we can look at both the, the long name as well as the numerical name. So effectively, this is all that needs to be done. You just reorganize the dimensions, how you want them, the columns that you want. Uh, and you can even, if you need to, um, do what we call mappings, which allows you to specifically state what columns you want to have available. You can rename them here. You can even apply math. So we can do some simple ones like I've done here with the scenario comparison. If I look at the mappings here, I've actually done a variance column. The variance does not exist in TM1, but I can look at it here and I can calculate that on the fly as it's coming out of TM1. So now once you have your view set up, all you simply need to do is either schedule it for a data export if you're using batch mode, or you can come over here and choose this option that says publish view to web service. Now, when you do that, that now becomes available to the ODBC Direct Connect driver. Let's take a look at how that looks in Tableau. So what we will do is we will come over here, we'll go to my data sources, and you will see that I've got, uh, let's take a look at variance data. It's a custom query. Department counts. Okay, so this is my department counts. Um, you'll see I'm pulling up by department the employee counts. Now this is uh, data which is calculated in TM1 uh, and we are bringing this in at an aggregate level. So this is a standard SQL, but I can write my own. As you'll see here in employee data, what I've done here is I've tied those drop downs and the radio buttons to the query that's being generated as a parameter. So here is the standard SQL, and that is simply just selecting the columns that were defined in the data source. And then what we've added is a where clause, which allows us to pick from the drop downs or the radio buttons the scenario in the year. And that quite simply then gives us the ability to query TM1, pull in the data, very quickly build these dashboards and make them live and dynamic with Tableau. I hope you've enjoyed the overview of TM1 Connect and Tableau. If you have any further questions, you may contact us at tm1connect.com. And let me back here the so this is our website address you can just contact us at tm1connect.com download the 30-day trial uh, you can install it very quickly get yourself up and running and understand um, how tm1 can now be visualized within tableau very quickly